The easiest way to solve the system is going to be using substitution. I'm going to take what y equals in the bottom equation and replace it with um, replace it where the y is in the top equation. So I'm going to write x squared plus 6x minus 4 and set that equal to 6x minus 3. Uh, now what I'm going to do is get 0 on the right side. And to do that, I have to add and subtract the terms that are on the right to the left side of the equation. So I have x squared. Uh, the 6x's actually cancel each other out. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And then everything on the right side cancels, giving me 0. Um, now, at this point, you have something that is two terms. Um, you can think of it one of two ways. If you recognize that this is a difference of squares, uh, that means that you're going to take the, the square root of each term, and it's going to be x plus the number and x minus the number. If you recognize that, that's fantastic. That's going to be your, your easiest way to do this. If you didn't see that right away, you could use a diamond. Um, your last number goes up at the top, and then your middle number um, would be 0 because it's missing. It's like you would write it out as x squared plus 0x minus 1. It's just that that 0x is unnecessary, so that's why you don't see it. So now I'd be looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 1 and add to 0, which is negative 1 and positive 1. And so that's where these numbers came from here if you look at uh, what's in the purple parentheses. All right, so we are factored. Um, the next thing I would do is uh, set each factor equal to 0. So I'd have x plus 1 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. And I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So I would have x equals negative 1. And then here I would add 1 to both sides and get that x equals positive 1. So I have my x solutions. So what that means is that I'm going to have two ordered pairs as my final answer. One of them is going to have negative 1 as the x, and the other one will have positive 1. And then to figure out what the y values are, we have to take those and plug them each in. So I'm going to plug in x equals negative 1 first. I'm going to choose to plug it into this top equation because I think it's um, the easier of the two options. So I'm going to do 6 times x, which is negative 1, minus 3. So negative 6 minus 3, which is negative 9. So that is my first solution, and that goes with um, negative 1. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with x equals positive 1. So I'll plug it into the same equation, 6 times 1 minus 3, which is 6 minus 3, or 3. So my other solution is y equals 3, and that goes with um, the x value of 1. So final answer is this right here, um, these two ordered pairs.